what's the fastest you've seen a crowd go from excited to horrified? During a Buffalo Sabres game Clint Malarchuk took an ice skate to the neck severing his carotid artery and partially cutting his jugular vein. He almost bled out on the ice, the sight was so horrifying two fans had heart attacks and 11 others fainted. Numerous fans vomited at the sight of all the blood. Malarchuk thought he was going to die on the ice so his only thought was getting off the ice so his mom didn't have to watch him die on TV. He asked for a priest and had the equipment manager call his mom to tell her he loved her. The only reason he didn't die is the Sabres. Athletic trainer was a combat medic in Vietnam. My parents were at the game and said that most of the fans assumed the worst and that seeing the ice turn red was one of the more horrifying things they'd seen in person. I was at a Russell Peters stand-up show in a large theater. He starts some banter with the guy in the first row who had a huge tattoo on his arm saying. Skyler. Or similar name. He asks all about Skyler. It's the guy's daughter. He starts making jokes about daughters. Some sexual innuendos etc. and then asks how old Skyler is. The guy in the audience goes. She passed away. It was pure crickets after that. I was at a Bo Burnham show he was recording for hit Netflix special but unfortunately this part didn't make the cut. He was cracking jokes as usual then asked everyone in the audience to crack their knuckles on the count of three. It was the most horrifying evil sound any of us had ever heard. R. Bud Dwyer's press conference that turned into a film suicide. I was at a 4th of July fireworks show in FT. Walton Destin, Florida. The show was being staged from the inlet from the Gulf of Mexico to the bay. People were watching it from the other side of the inlet. The Highway 98 bridge and from their boats on the water. The first salvo launched. But one of the shells exploded either in the launch tube or just above and ignited the rest of the show on the ground. Some launched a little bit before exploding. What was supposed to be a 30 to 40 minute show lasted 1 to 2 minutes. As the first shells blew up, I could see the silhouette of the technicians as they ran. Like a stop motion movie. The technicians were cool as hell since none of them were looking back at the explosions. I never realized how big the bursts were until I saw them going off on the ground. Everybody was trying to get away. We were being hit by pieces of fireworks. They weren't just landing on everybody. They were hitting us. My dad started the boat. But realized we couldn't move. A lot of kids were watching the show while they floated in the water. We were yelling at the other boats to stop because of the kids in the water. Fortunately. Enough people heard, listened or realized what the problem now was that they stopped and locked everybody in place. Nobody was seriously hurt or killed only a few techs were treated for minor burns. On that day. Those techs outran Usain Bolt. On the beach. Wearing safety gear. I was brought to Corita once and the matador got his leg impaled by the bull while he was trying to get over a fence. The crowd started screaming and booing the bull like it was a foul move I was like lmao the dude fucking stabbed it what was it supposed to do? Recite poetry? I. Along with an entire beachfront of about 80 plus people. Watched a boat back up and chop a lady up into pieces. It was bad. An American comedian in the Republic of Ireland saying how happy he was to be in the United Kingdom. Woodstock 99. Everyone was super cool and chill and all of a sudden it felt like the wind shifted. It was palpable. Like you could cut the air it was so heavy. Got a super bad vibe so we packed up immediately and left. By the time we got to the first gas station reports of fire and rioting started. Darren Brown. Remote control. Darren Brown is a TV magician. Illusionist. Sort of like a pen and teller of psychics and this show is on mob mentality. He has an audience prank a man. Chris. Who has consented to be messed with for a Darren Brown show at an unknown date? There is a studio audience watching and voting on whether he gets a good prank or bad prank, with hidden cameras tracking him and Chris's friends and family luring him to certain areas where pranks can happen. The pranks start out silly. Good. He's the lucky customer at a shop. Bad. He's accused of shoplifting. The pranks slowly get more and more extreme and the audience are voting the bad pranks all the time. Laughing as Chris's life is slowly falling apart in one day. It ends with Chris being let out of a police car near his house and the audience have voted for a scary black van to pull up and kidnap Chris. As the van pulls up. Chris runs away and the men chase him down. But when he turns the corner a car comes and knocks Chris down. The studio goes quiet. The lights go on and Darren says nothing letting the audience take in what happened. Giving them nothing. After a while. 
Darren explains that this was all set up and Chris was in on the whole thing and the audience were the ones being tested explaining how being part of a crowd can make someone lose their morality. They were just cheering a man having his life ruined and being kidnapped fearing for his life. Last week at a BLM protest they were letting anyone come up and speak through a megaphone. This man got up and started talking about his newborn son and how he wanted to make sure we have a better world for him. He then started talking about love and unity and the guy essentially had the crowd eating out of the palm of his hand. Then he brought up Bill Cosby and how he was arrested on allegations and the crowd turned instantly. Went to see the Pokemon movie with my fellow group home residents as a treat. There were maybe 70 of us there. Most had never been to a movie theater before so it was a pretty big deal. The house even splurged to get everyone a small soda, candy, and a portion of popcorn. This was literally the best day of most of our lives so far. We get settled in, taking up most of the theater. When the credits started and the lights dimmed, we were so excited. Pokemon, the movie, was about to freaking start. Opening ads start. We're silent the whole time in anticipation. Then the credits never ended. We thought, because this one, ad, seemed to go on forever. Some kind of a spoof of an alien movie? Maybe a play on Star Trek? Credits rolled. Lights turned on. Nobody spoke. Every single face was deflated and so. So freaking disappointed. Someone screwed up and played, Galaxy Quest, instead of the, brand new at the time. Pokemon movie. Nobody talked the whole way back to the house. But as soon as we got there so many kids lost it. I didn't end up seeing it until like 10 years later. And it blew mind haha. I wasn't present. But the Sugarland stage collapse must have been up there. HTTPS. U2. BJ6OS underscore MPRD0Y. There was a guy performing risky stunt dives in a river for money. He pulled off great stuff and people were clapping and clearly hyped. One of the tricks went really bad and he crashed head first into a rock from a decent height and killed himself. Several years back and my band opens up for a hardcore punk outfit from Illinois at an all-ages venue where they have a sci-fi theme to their show. The singer dresses up as a mad scientist and the other three members dress up as his evil robots. They also have old television sets plugged in around the stage playing 1950s B-horror movies while they play. No one including the people running the venue have ever seen these guys play before but going off of the theme we are expecting something awesome. That is until I'm backstage putting my equipment away and notice them all pounding back shots of tequila. When it's their turn to play they're so hammered they can't even make it through one verse of a song. The singer ended up drop kicking one of the TVs into the crowd of about 200 people. Which caught fire. This caused the sound guy to end their set right there and they were banned from the venue for life. I've never seen a crowd go from happy to oh shit so fast. The entire assembled students from the elementary school where teacher astronaut Krista McAuliffe taught it, who were broadcast live to the world. As they watched the space shuttle challenge explode seconds after takeoff, killing all hands on board. Including their teacher. Ten years ago or so. I was watching fireworks for 4th of July with family and friends. You know how the show usually ends with a bunch of fireworks going off at once? Well that seemed to be what was happening. So people were cheering. One of my friends suddenly gets up, turns to us and says, something's wrong, we need to move. I had no idea what he was talking about. But in that moment, I noticed that one of those big ball fireworks had gone oof near the ground, showing only a fraction of the ball. Literally a second later, fireworks were shot into the crowd. It's not like movies. There was no screaming or fleeing for our lives. Everyone just froze. Only two fireworks exploded in the crowd. At that point the fireworks were spent. And there was just a deadly silence. Only one of the fireworks hurt anyone. It was one of the ones that are small but really loud. I think a mom and her son were hurt. But even as EMTs rushed to treat them. The silence still hung over the crowd. Very slowly. People started to walk out of the park somberly. Detroit Tigers. Almost perfect game. We all saw the play and the dude was out. We all start celebrating. Then we slowly realize the ump called him safe. Celebration quickly turned to the opposite. Technically not horrified but still the fastest 180 I've seen or been a part of. This is the most recent example that comes to mind. HTTPS. Old. Reddit. Com. R. Public freakout. Comments. GUC 1F9. Man underscore loses underscore public underscore support underscore in underscore seconds. At my friend's wedding, the groom kicked the flower boy. He was no more than 10. So yeah. 
I was at a Van Halen concert a few years back and David Lee Roth comes on the mic and says, this next one is from our new album. Saw a guy get ripped in half by walking onto a NASCAR track. A friend of mine decided it would be fun to try and see if he could smash a beer glass on his head, up until then he was just being an enthusiastic drunk and had some positive attention. He then decided the beer glass thing was a good idea and promptly executed it. Head wounds bleed a lot in the first minute. Crowd went from. A U W. You're cute. To. Fuick he's gonna die. I sobered up in an instant and got a. Semi. Clean towel for him to stop the bleeding. Thankfully head wounds also stop bleeding pretty quick in most instances.